In the last section, we finished finally installing Helm onto our production Kubernetes cluster, multi-cluster. So now we're going to put Helm into practice and we're going to use it to install the Nginx ingress. Now I still have the Nginx ingress documentation up. Remember, you can get here at kubernetes.github.io slash ingress Nginx. You'll then find the deployment tab. And then down at the very bottom is the using Helm section. So you'll notice inside of here, it says if the Kubernetes cluster has RBAC installed, run this command right here. So essentially all we gotta do is copy this command, run it inside of our cloud shell, and we're good to go. So I'm gonna copy this thing. I'll go back over to my shell. I'm gonna paste it. And then I'll run that command. All right. And very quickly here, you're gonna see that it gets resolved for us. So essentially what it did was create a full set of different objects behind the scenes. All the objects that were created are gonna be very similar to what we had previously seen inside of this mandatory command YAML file right here. So we got a set of config maps, deployments, we got that to default server, all that stuff we had spoken about previously. If you take a look at some of the output right here, you'll see that it gives us a example ingress. We are using an ingress that looks very similar to it. And you might also notice that we're seeing a little bit of a print up here of all the different resources that were created. So we've got our load balancer, we got a cluster IP for the default backend. It looks like we got a deployment, we got a pod for the controller and for that default backend. And a couple of other stuff in here as well, such as a, hey, cluster role binding and a role binding. We now know what those are. So it looks like everything got set up correctly. So let's take a quick pause right here. When we come back to the next section, we're gonna take a look at what happened in more detail inside of our cluster. So quick pause and I'll see you in just a minute.